All right, hey everyone. Um, I wanted to make this video today to teach y'all how to play um, Corral in the Blue. I think it's hot. Okay, yeah, uh, it's Corral in the Blues. So I wanted to teach y'all uh, my kind of variation to it. Um, the chords I'm playing are the exact chords, um, but you know, I had some different stuff in there that it's not, it's, it's, it's not the exact same to cultures. Um, you know, it's it's really hard to replicate what he does because he'll play it different every time. There's a recorded version. There's a way he plays it live. Um, I just stick to the same chords. Um, if you're a singer, you know, stick to that chord progression, make it yours, and then, you know, sing the lyrics to it. Um, but I'm going to show you the chords. I'm going to show you how I play it, and then you can kind of find your own way. Um, but we'll go through the chords first. So the first one we have, it starts off with a C, and then it goes to a E minor chord. And then it goes to an A minor chord. And then we got a G chord. A modified F chord. Back to a G. And then to a C. And back to a G. So strumming it through, it goes. the whole song um something to add to what he does um you see my capo here is on the third fret um but this is i'm tuned a whole step down so what culture wall does when he plays his guitar he's tuned a whole step down when he plays um it just makes the strings pop more you know that kind of thing so it makes them pop more gives a more bluesy feel that's why he does it um if you're in standard tuning just put the capo on the first fret and you'll get the same uh, you'll get the same tuning with that. I like to play a whole step down too because I like playing more blues guitar. Um, but it's whatever you want to do. Um, if you're in standard tuning, first fret, capo. Um, if you're in tuned a whole step down, put the capo on the third fret. Um, so how I pick through it at the beginning, um, I add a lot of hammer-ons basically. So instead of just playing a C through, pick through it. You see how I did that? So strumming hammering on that second fret hammering on that second fret um uh, with the capo would be hammering on the fifth fret so then pick it through so hammer on just like that kind of do that with all the chords that's pretty much what I do um, I'll do some walk ups and walk downs and I'll kind of show you all how to do that so um, I'll play it through slowly remember these are these are the same chords nothing's changing I'll just show you kind of how I pick through it so we'll go E minor like that see I'll change from C to E minor so I'll go walk up So you see, uh, what I'll do is, when I go from C to E, I'll strike the top chord and hit the second fret here and pick through it like that. So, and I'll do the same thing with A minor, except I'm striking that A chord. Then back up to the top E. Then I'll walk up on the F, back to G, C, So I'll play the picking through just a little bit slowly. Um, also, if you go to like ultimateguitar.com or any websites like that, it'll have the chord progression. Some might even have the tablature for it. So um, just keep that in mind. I'm just showing you my way to do it. It's not the 100% correct way, but it sounds good to me. I can sing along with it pretty well. And I just, it's something fun to play. So here's the pick through and just watch my hammer-ons, watch how I walk up. I'll play it very slowly. So I'll, I'll hammer on, I'll walk up, and I'll, I'll change the bass note when I switch the chords and stuff like that. So just uh, try to watch the best you can, and remember, all the chords are the same.
that's all there is to it. Um, I'm sorry it took me so long to put this put this whole lesson out. Um, if y'all want to see more lessons, I'll be happy to. I'm still trying to figure out how to put tabs on the screen, so it's just kind of kind of be this video right now. But eventually, I'll figure out how to put tabs, or I'll get the technology to put the tabs. I'll just have my phone right now. So once I get you know once I buy a better laptop and all the recording stuff, uh, I'll put more stuff like that up. But right now, it's just my guitar and my phone and I've done pretty well with that so far, but I know I'll have to eventually add some stuff there in the future. So thanks for tuning in. If you got any questions or any recommendations of what lessons you want, I have a, a bunch of videos of me covering songs. So if you like any of those covers and you want to know how to play them, uh, just ask and I'll post it because this is it's pretty easy for me to do. I've been playing these songs for a long time. Well, not this one. This one just came out, but a lot of the covers I've played them for a long time. So just, uh, just let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope you learned something and y'all have a good day.